Hi, and thanks for joining us. In this video, we're gonna talk about hand saws. You know, saws with no motors, saws like your grandpa used, saws powered by a good old fashioned way with your muscles. We'll go over different types of hand saws and what they do, how to properly care for them, and a few techniques. Ready? Let's dig in. So first, let's go over the different types of saws. First up is the classic multi-purpose saw. This saw makes cross cuts that go against the grain of the wood. It's typically used for DIY projects and small residential construction. I'm sure you've seen the rusted one hanging in your dad's garage. It's easily identifiable by the small teeth that you see on the bottom right here. And now the hacksaw. So hacksaws are typically used for cutting metal or PVC. The teeth can be coarse or fine depending on the application. Coarse teeth are used for fast cutting and fine teeth are used for smooth cutting. They come in a variety of different sizes. Uh, for small, hard to reach places, we can use a, a compact one, or if we need a little bit more flexibility, we also have these that we could have a, a, a blade that bends so you can get like on a floor and you can cut through there as well. Next up is the compass and keyhole saws. Compass and keyhole saws are used to make curved cuts or small holes. The point of the saw can be pushed through soft material. They can use different blades so they can go through wood or drywall. For example, a compass or keyhole saw is used for electricians that cut holes or drywall, or we can cut semolina bread on Sunday dinner. This funny looking thing is a coping saw. Coping saws are used to make cope joints and molding. They can make small irregular cuts. Their blades can be installed pointing away or towards the handle. They give you the versatility to make very precise cuts. Okay, we've gone over the different types of saws, so now let's talk about the maintenance. This way your saws will last you longer. Keep your saws dry. Clean and lubricate your saw with gun oil after every use, and always use a professional to sharpen your saw. And finally, let's review some common sense safety when using your hand saws. Always be aware of your hands and keep them away from the blade. Don't forget to use your PPE. Safety goggles will protect your eyes from airborne saw dust. Now let's show you the proper technique for making cuts with a hand saw. First, let's go over the word you often hear with sawing, kerf. Kerf is defined as the width of the cut made. It's determined by the thickness of the blade and the placement and shape of the teeth. Now, there's two main sawing techniques. The push, pushing the blade, and the pull of pulling the blade. Sometimes you'll have a combo of a push and pull. Which technique you use is determined on the angle of the teeth on your saw. Now that we've gone over the different types of hand saws, we wanna go over the different types of sawing techniques. For this example, we're gonna use our crosscut saw. We're gonna be cutting through a piece of one by and we always wanna make sure that when we're cutting our wood, we always have our scrap side off to the side so it can fall off. And again, this is something that we wanna remember is our curve. Now again, our curve is gonna be this thickness of our blade and our teeth. So when measuring your cut piece, you always wanna make sure you count for that as being the waist so you don't have too small of a piece. So as we identify where we wanna cut our piece of wood, we wanna be able to start in a, in a backward motion. So we're gonna start here, and we just wanna go in a backward motion to start our cutting process. And you may have to do that one or two times to get the process started. Once we're able to get that done, now we have a, an area to where we can guide our saw. And we just wanna make sure that we're using the saw blade, and we're not trying to push too hard. If you're pushing too hard, the saw is gonna bend, and it's not gonna be able to just glide through the wood. Uh, so we just wanna go in a nice smooth motion, allowing the blade to just rip through that wood. And there you go. That's how you cut with a, with a standard hand saw. All right, so safety first. Uh, I happen to have my glasses on. If you're not wearing any safety glasses, you wanna make sure you're wearing proper PPE. So you wanna have your safety goggles on. Uh, again, we wanna make sure that we're keeping our hand out of the sawing area. For this example, I'm gonna be sawing this bolt. Uh, and our hacksaw, we're gonna let the blade do the work for us. So we're gonna find an area that we wanna cut off. Again, keep our hands out of the area and we're gonna let the blade do the work. So we just wanna start real slow, and then we gotta want a nice, steady motion so we can cut right through. And there you have it. Okay, so these are just some of the most common hand saws and how to use them, but they aren't the only hand saws out there. The most important thing to remember for this video, one, Use the right saw for the right application, and two, use the correct technique for the corresponding saw. Thanks for watching. See you around.